here's the thing that um here's, about the Miami thing. So the matchup with the Lakers. Yes. Starts Wednesday. We're reminder Wednesday nine o'clock. I think Butler, Crowder, and Iguodala can keep LeBron in check, scoring wise, if the refs let them play real defense. basketball. If they let them play defense. If they let LeBron just run over people and commit offensive fouls left and right, of course it's going to have some trouble. The key in this is going to be Anthony Davis. Can he get over 30 a game? And he's going to have to if they want to win. They really ain't got anybody that can guard him. I mean, Bam's going to give him some hell. Jay's going to give him some hell. But they don't got any seven-foot defenders in here that's just going to come in there and block shots or anything. They don't have, do they even have a seven-footer? Is Miles Leonard seven-foot? I think he is. I mean, I don't even know if the, Kelly Olenek. Like, so what are they going to do there? So I think guarding LeBron will be easier than guarding it. The uh, but but the thing about LeBron's game, he's gonna pass anyway. So what you're gonna need to do is if they can keep Anthony Davis under 35, Hunter, and then keep the other guys from going. All I have to say is this: Who's got the more consistent three point shooting? Well, it's definitely Miami. It's not even close. Okay, who's got the better coach? It's Miami. Who coached LeBron for the four or five years he was in Miami? Does Tyler got championship? Tyloo's not with Where's the... Where's he at? He he's Clippers? who's the Clippers. Oh, he's yeah. with the Clippers. I don't even know who else is helping. It's Vogel and who? Vogel and Kidd. Jason Kidd was the one that everybody was like, oh, he's kind of undermining Vogel. I mean, if Spolster don't have uh, D-Wade and the triplets, does he want anything? So, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to put him as a good coach. Spolster is sixth in finals appearances. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and think about it. The guy sits right above him is second in finals... Or no, third in finals appearances... And Pat Riley, he's going to be right there. And the only reason why I bring up uh, Eric Spolter is because someone made a very good point online. They were thinking, I can't remember who it was. I think Skip might have commented on it this morning, but I, that's not really what I wanted to say. It's just, I don't know. He's not necessarily going to be able to stop LeBron, but is he going to know how to draw up a good game plan against LeBron? Because he used to see him in practice every day mm. and he was around him for three or four years. Probably. What and and this isn't even because a lot of people can argue prime the peak of his career. LeBron was his days in Miami. Now he's not quite there mm. still. So what kills teams guarding LeBron again is if he's allowed to commit offensive fouls and they get uncontested layups. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not, you understand, Hunter. If I try to block a shot and I'm gonna try to keep LeBron from dunking, and I foul him. I'm gonna get the foul call. Mm -hmm. But if I go in there and take a charge on this. Big giant human, but and you're still it? not going to give it to me, right? What's the point? Are you going to try to take it the next? No, time? he's just going to let him drive the lane, and then foul him, and, and hope he get, doesn't get an and one. And so you've got to call it on him. You have to call the the, the charge, and if you're not, the three you point can't. shooting, I think to me is what's going to be the X factor in this game because when can Boston, the Lakers guard them? When Boston used would go on their little runs in this series, what would close the gap? The three-point shooting of Miami. Drogics would come down, get hot from the three-point line. Jimmy is not a great three-point shooter, but then he would start hitting. Tyler Hero's hitting those threes. Duncan Robinson, that's all he does is a spot-up three-point shooter, and he is a deadly sniper. Even Jay Crowder can shoot the three from time to time at a consistent basis. So the three-point shot, to me, uh, you would have to lean Miami's way. The problem is, to me, seriously, is exactly what you just said. Uh, are will the Miami Heat be playing against two different teams? Will they be playing the Lakers and the refs at the same time? I hate to put it that way, but it's the truth. Here's my theory on that. And not only that, I all and because if you think about it too, there is no big two in Miami. Mm -hmm. It's Jimmy, and then everybody else shows up, hustles, and they play great. If you do want to say there's a big two, it's Jimmy and Bam, but. Right. And so, and if that's the case, I still give the edge to AD and LeBron. But then you look at supporting cast. I think the Heat have had the best bench and supporting cast this whole playoff. So I would, I would automatically lean towards them to outplay anybody that the Lakers put on the floor. But then, who's gonna get in foul trouble? <laughs> Who, who's gonna be two you know, game, fouled out? Two of the games Denver lost. Jokic had five fouls in those games. I'm pretty sure he had he's four in going trouble. into the end of the third, right. so he, he didn't even play much. He's in foul trouble, a lot of that. Um, the, the fouls things, I don't think the red, I don't think the NBA cares who wins it as opposed to who's in it. You mm. understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So LeBron's record's what in the finals? Three and six? 
Mm -hmm. They want him in it. Doesn't matter if he wins. It's his tenth straight year in the final. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if he wins it. It matters if he ends. It's all about ratings. Their ratings. This was it this weekend. I think Tucker Carlson's Friday night got a got higher ratings than um, the NBA Game Seven here. Mm-hmm. Like, like it's not it's not even close. Like how bad they're doing compared to last year in their ratings. So I think I think what they're doing that's what they do. I think I think they've always done that. They didn't want Sacramento or the Jail Blazers. They did not want the Jail Blazers in the finals when they when they came back on them. They didn't want Sacramento either. And uh, I just if that's the case though, it's I mean I know they were kind of just outplaying them, but why wouldn't they have done Lakers Boston? This was your moment. This was your I didn't told you the heat the heat matchup, Hunter. This is in this is interesting. Now it is interesting. So I think someone said there are more storylines technically in this than there would have been for Boston because right. all Boston would have been was Lakers Celtics as it used to be. Now it's you know Jimmy Butler's first appearance in an NBA Finals. This is Spolster's first time being there without. Bosh, Wade, LeBron. This is LeBron versus the Heat that mm-hmm. he was there and won two championships with. Mm-hmm. So I, there yeah, are you, a missed, lot. you missed one, Pat Riley against the Lakers. This is the Pat Riley series. This, this is <laughs> just Pat Riley win or lose no matter what, right? Because um, <laughs> he's like, eh. I mean, this is this is. How about this one? Another angle you missed. Who? Trivia question. When finals MVP playing defense against LeBron. Iggy. What team is he on? I know, but... He's on the Miami Heat. It's funny why he got that, though, because (laughs) even LeBron still averaged like 25 to 26 points And Steph had better numbers in the finals than he did Mm -hmm. regular season. And And he he didn't get it. this This is the same voters who vote on... Chris, this is the same voters who vote on Mike Trout. Yeah, vote on Iguodala getting MVP for Over playing Steph. defense on LeBron as opposed to Steph, who had better numbers than he did in the regular season uh, in that finals. But but yeah, Hunter, um, think about it. You've got Iguodala guarding LeBron again. Man, yeah, when he's off the bench, yeah. You've got Jimmy Butler out there doing his thing. You've got the Pat Riley situation. I think that's the I think that's the one storyline I really like the most is. Jimmy Butler just jumped around and jumped around mm-hmm. because teams just couldn't fit the play style that he was looking for and the attitude that he brought. And now he gets here and everybody is bought in and he's and they're winning. I think the most hilarious thing about it is that the LeBron sexuals, which team does he belong to? Which team does he retire with? Which team honors him? I say none of them. Would Miami? Think about it. LeBron has won two championships in LeBron. We talked about this. He won two championships in Miami. Then he left them. He left Cleveland twice, won a championship, left them twice. The Lakers have 15, 16 other championships without him. Hmm. If he wins one, does that even blip on the radar? I don't know. Compared to Kobe's five? Five for Kobe. So do they put a statue of him up? Miami, folks, here's what's so awesome about Miami. LeBron won two championships there. Number 23 is retired in Miami. Michael Jordan's number was he was so good, the Heat retired 23. That's why he's wearing six in, in, in Miami. So LeBron's not going to have his number retired anywhere, no statue anywhere. Lose the final six, maybe seven times, Hunter. And and, and so it's, it's interesting. I, if Can... I, can I'll be we happy say if this. Miami takes them seven and Lakers still win, blah, 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 bull crap, whatever, but still. I would say this. It better not be no stupid four to one. I would say this. But I don't think it will. If Miami beats the Lakers this year in the finals, I know it's a long shot. A lot of people really aren't giving them much of a chance. But if they do it, LeBron James, to me, is will forever be out of the GOAT conversation. Because you not he did say you are unless, unless he wins. wins. Yeah, his tenth his tenth can't believe finals he said appearance. That. Uh, well, it should be meaningless if, unless he wins. But but I can't believe he said that because he usually likes ninety nine percent of the people in the world will uh, would agree with that. All right. But he remember he claimed himself the greatest because he won a championship for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hmm. I mean that's his standard. I won one, baby. <laughs> Listen, goat. <laughs> I just I would take him out of the goat conversation, and if, if he loses to Miami, and it's because first of all, well now we're at the 
the what was it? Seven losses in the finals. It would be seven losses in the finals. This is not a- only that, but your team is heavily favored in this series. Heavily favored. <laughs> this would not be as bad as his loss to the Mavericks because the that that was prime prime LeBron and Dwayne Wade and all those fools. Mm. But if you lose this, you went out in this off season. You shipped every young Laker that you had out of town. Mm. I'm not saying your front office did it because we all know you did it. You brought in and built this team how you wanted it, just like you do everywhere you go, especially when you went back to Cleveland. You just built, you wanted a guy, they went out and got him for you. And if you were to lose this series against Miami, who out of every team we've said that could possibly have won it, they always said, what do they have? They have a two. They have a big two. Not a big three, but they have a big two. This team does not have a big two. They're led by a guy who really is better on the defensive side of the ball than the offensive side of the ball, and Jimmy Butler. He don't lead the team in scoring every game. No, he's, he's not. He's, I was going to say he's not Maybe even leading scorer. Third. No, Drogic is their leading scorer. Uh, yeah. So it's like, All right, Hunter, I want you to. Do it would just be tough Let's for me to continue game. to even consider him anywhere close to what Michael is. Let's play a quick. Play quick. And game. everybody will say, Hunter, you just keep going six and zero. Oh. I'm like, well, what the? What else do I need? He would have been. Think about it. You guys forget. He went to play baseball in his prime. So, LeBron in year 17 or whatever it is. Don't it s- took him 17 years. He's won half as many championships. He lost in the Olympics, which is the greatest uh, just debacle in United States now if he history. Now, if he wins this, I have to give him credit. Three championships at different places. I have to give him credit. I, nice. you, yeah. you, I can't take that away from him. Absolutely. But he lost the gold medal to Argentina. Ah, whatever. I don't hold that too much as an esteem as you do because to me, I don't even watch Olympic. But I don't even watch the Olympics hardly. It's just that it would be like the Hunter. It would be like the Hornets beating the Lakers. <laughs> well, I have seen the Hornets lose to a Chinese league team. I'm just, I'm just so saying, I'm just saying, like, is it that equivalent? It would be like them just saying yeah, an NBA team losing to have the Hornets play the Lakers here. <laughs> they lost to Argentina to Manu Ginobili and Fabricio Oberto. With Tim Duncan on the roster. All right, Hunter, let's name. I want you to name the top ten in no particular order. I just want. I just want this group. I want the top ten players overall, healthy or not healthy, in in, in the NBA in today. In today's NBA. I want the ten best NBA players, healthy or not. Okay, right. Well, so whatever. They're Durant just there. Okay. Well, well I'll give you Kevin Durant. I'll put Kevin Durant, LeBron. Like no, no particular order. Just right. the first just ones name, that come to my names. mind. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, James Harden, Giannis, Kawhi. What am I at right now? Six? Five. 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 Is Anthony Davis top ten? Yeah. Anthony Davis would be on there. Steph Curry. What is that, seven? Mm-hmm. Mm, now I got to just pick and choose for my other three because there are good players. Uh, and I might be forgetting somebody. I'll leave. I, I'm not gonna put Russell Westbrook on that list. If you want to, you can. You can write him down, but I, I wouldn't. Um, Luca, Damian, Damian, and Luca can go on there. Okay. So all I'm missing is one more. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I know why you're doing this. I or at least I have an idea why you're doing this because there's gonna be a lot of names that are not on this list. That are in this finals. Um, I don't know. You got nine. So here, here's your. Let me give you the points per game. If it no, that's the playoffs points per game. You don't want that. So you, I, I didn't hear any um, Charlotte Hornets on that list. Huh? Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> it's no Hornets on that. Sorry, list. sorry. Definitely uh, here, not. Here, here's your list of top scores. If this helps you any, Bradley Beal, Trey Young. Russell Westbrook, Devin Booker, Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, Brandon Ingram, Jason Tatum, Siakam, Wiggins, and there's your list of the next. Jimmy Butler's at 28th. Mm-hmm. So, See, maybe out of that what you put, maybe Devin Booker. Is Westbrook, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker. Maybe Bradley Beal. You better put Westbrook on there. Yeah, fine. He can be 10th, whatever. <laughs> Who just you? Do you feel Booker better than Westbrook? That's I do think okay. Devin Booker is a better. I think Devin Booker is a better overall player than Westbrook. Yes. All right. So Booker. So if LeBron wins his championship, he'll have beaten Harden and Lillard, 
and none of the rest of the top ten. None of the rest of the top ten even made the West, even made yeah, the Western finals, Conference or Finals. Or Western huh? or Eveson Conference Finals. No, huh? So, oh, cr- I mean, you could have put Jason Tatum in there because he's averaging like 30 for a little while, but I don't know. That's Then you're just splitting crosshairs, like – who is at the top? Like so out the of the first two rounds, he played ball hog point guards, which I've mm-hmm. saved every damn time we have a show that you can't win like that, right? Um, and then the next one, he gets a non-star team with Jokic and and Murray, and they're missing their small starting small forward. Um, and then in the finals, you get another five seed with with Jimmy Butler. He's twenty eighth in scoring uh, in the NBA is is the highest score that they will face. Uh, in this, so uh, I'm not saying it's it's a cakewalk, but it's not been a hard uh, walk here for for mm-hmm. them. No, uh, because the Clippers had to mess around and not. It seemed like almost not take this seriously, like when it got down to crunch time. Well, it seemed no, no, according to the reports, Hunter, they didn't like each other. Well, they might not like each other, <laughs> and apparently that was the problem. They, if they, they don't, had, they, they went Charlotte listen, Hornets on everybody. They, they didn't, didn't like. Each li- other. They didn't like each other they enough. Friends. They did not like each other enough to at least look at each other and say, "You know what? Maybe we can band together and at least win a championship. <laughs> try, try to play some defense. Try, try and at least win a championship. <laughs> do something. I, I but I, I will say this about this finals: Miami and the Lakers. I don't think it is going to be just like a four zero. I don't. No, I either. don't think that. No, no, uh, no. I don't. It could go seven to me. I think it could go seven, uh, depending on matchups, depending on how good Miami Listen, plays if defense. If both teams shoot the same amount of free throws, or, or, or close, or, you're right. I'll say this. Every game that Miami shoots more free throws than the Lakers, they will win. And it won't even be. They'll win by ten if they shoot more free throws than the Lakers. If the Lakers shoot more free throws than them, then they're going to win. And I, you, I'm not, I'm not calling it fixed. I'm just saying that's the way the series is going to go. AD is going to get 35. Can they keep LeBron off the free throw line? Which who cares if he shoots free throws? But it's the, it's the fouling up. Your joke is getting five fouls. LeBron yeah. can shoot all the free throws he wants. Jokic is getting five fouls. That's what hurts. You got to come off the floor. Right. Um, but think about the free throw shooting for Miami. They got four or five guys that don't miss hardly hmm. free throws. No, Drogic's hero doesn't miss. Duncan Robinson, Robinson Jimmy miss. Butler. Jimmy rarely misses. <laughs> like, they, they've got... Rarely misses. They've got free throw shooting. they got free throw shooting. So, like, I, what, I, what I mean, if both teams shoot 30 free throws... Bam even shoots good free throws for a big man. Denver shot 80-something percent free throws in this in this series. and But they were getting outshot 10 free throws a game. I <laughs> I think an X factor in this game... Bam's going to foul out. I, I don't. I don't, say, they, I don't know. I don't know if he'll foul out. They don't have another. They, he's going to do what Jokic and India. They ain't got two. Unless, they ain't got unless two Spolstra men. does something that Malone didn't do and dip into his bench for size, because oh, yeah. that's been the that's been the narrative for the Lakers all years. They're the biggest team in the league. Right, They're right, the tallest. Right. So how? What do you do to, to match that? You play them with height. So what? It might take away some, maybe some of your athleticism you on the get, floor if you put Myers Leonard out there. You get I mean, Leonard and Olenek are your seven footers. So, but Olenek, I'm not. People are gonna think I'm crazy, and I I don't mean this literally. But his game is like Anthony Davis's, where he is going to want much rather be on the perimeter than on the inside. So you're just adding a stretch four onto the floor, and you can still have Bam do his thing down around the paint. It just spaces the floor out more. I don't know. I, to me, Spolstra cannot just not go big. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like what Malone didn't do. One thing that the uh, – so the Nuggets didn't have bodies to throw at LeBron or mm-hmm. Anthony Davis. They do have bodies to throw at these guys. Mm-hmm. If Anthony Davis is going to play on the perimeter, you can guard him with Jimmy Butler. You can right. guard him with Jay Crowder. <laughs> His problem is when he gets a seven foot butt up underneath the goal. Who's stopping? Who? What are they going to do to stop? Who's him? stopping? Right. So, so I, I think the I think the Heat actually uh, do have a chance in this, in this series. I'm I'm not. They do. They do. It's just, I don't know. Something is telling me this is going to be so driven for the Lakers to win this championship. It's not even funny. Like I'm talking, like maybe Lee Golfus is involved. <laughs> 
Got everything. To, got to, I hate to go there. You got to remember the same year Kobe died. I, that's exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I, I, that's what I was getting at, though. But you're I talking to Captain Conspiracy. Here. I believe it all. I listen, all. but that's what I'm saying, though. I didn't want. I didn't want to <laughs> say all it. Fixed. I didn't want to say it. But it's that's what. I, but that's what I meant when I was saying right. this is this is feeling really heavily swayed like Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. I don't know many people that are even giving Miami a shot, like that they're picking them to win the championship. It's almost all saying they might can take it to five, you know. <laughs> so they might win one game. One, one, you think they're just going to win one game. Hell, the Nuggets almost won two games if AD doesn't have, hit have, that buzzer beater. Has AD ever won a championship? Mm-mm. AD has never. AD's only made it out of the fi- out of the first round one time. What's the bronze record in the finals? Three and six. <laughs> What's Pat Riley's record in the finals? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Oh, let me think. I'd have to think about it. It's a it. lot to a little. He lost, Let's just say that. They, it's a lot to a little. As a as a member of the organization. So they lost to, to Dirk. They lost to Dallas. But after that, was he a part of them when they won it the first time with Shaq? And, Wasn't he the coach? Well, I think maybe. Or was Spolstra still the coach? No, Spolstra was, then, then uh, was, was, Spolstra then, was not even a coach Riley. at that time. <laughs> yeah. So Pat's uh, got like... Sad. Like, why are they that much favored? Is it just, is it the Mike Trout uh, syndrome? Oh, because it's the Lakers. Because the star. Because it's LA, it's LA, the Lakers, star. and LeBron. I don't know. Let's see. He's got. I mean, he's got the rings. There's no question about it. Executive. He's a two-time champion. Has a head coach. He's a five-time. He did win the 2006 as the okay. head coach. Exactly uh, the two times he was an executive so, was with LeBron. He's won seven. Pat Riley's won seven, seven championships. championships. LeBron's got three. Zen Masters got thirteen, but nobody's and counting. Two of LeBron's. No wait, two he's of got LeBron's eleven. Three are, My bad. Two of LeBron's three are with uh with, with Pat, Pat Riley. Riley. <laughs> and who oh, and who was the maddest when LeBron left the Heat? Probably Pat. Pat Riley. Uh, he was, he was livid. So, is Butler afraid to guard LeBron? No. Is Jay Crowder? Is uh, you you just asked me? <laughs> is is Jimmy Butler afraid, afraid to guard somebody? <laughs> no. Jimmy Butler is not uh, afraid of anybody. They got a shot. They have this. There is an absolute shot. I feel better about them than I do Boston. I think Boston's youth could have caused them to crumble. I think Milwaukee could have gave them trouble because of their size. Um, but Boston, I wouldn't have trusted them to <laughs> to do anything. I don't trust Kimba. But at that point, I might have had to. I mean, they got Iguodala. They got the MVP. Listen. <laughs> they got the MVP. Terry tried to sit over <laughs> here the other day and say that. Oh, God. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. He was trying to say Hero, Hero just had one game. I think Hero's going to be an X Factor. No, he, he averaged more than Kim. He, I know. He played Kim the whole series. I know, but he's saying <laughs> he has one game and people think he's so good. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like Terry. He's a rookie. Terry. He's a rookie. That's why we're so impressed by what he's doing right now. And not just that, I do believe he plays an X factor role here. Because what did I just say? I think it's going to come down to role players versus role mm-hmm. players. And mm-hmm. he's coming off the bench. He might be the best player coming off the bench for either team. Yeah, I was thinking about that. If if he continues what he's doing, the top two guys got to get fifty to sixty every game, and, mm-hmm. and then you go from the role players. At Game 6 of the 98 Finals, Jordan had 45. By himself. Pippen had 8. <laughs> so they got to 53. Thanks, Pip, for pitching. Thanks, Pip. <laughs> I was there while I was running around. I was thinking, I was like, I bet Michael's like, is this dude going to pitch in today? Yeah. Like, well, how about scoring 12, Pip? We win easily. I will give <laughs> I will give LeBron a ton of credit, though, if he comes out here and averages just like 30 in these finals. If he does, I'll be like, okay. Cool, great. At year 17, 38, or however old you are, 37, 38, do it. But, like I said, if he loses to the Miami Heat, not only just being favored, but having two out of the top five players in the league on Mm -hmm. your team, I will have a huge problem with that. I will have a huge problem with that. And it won't even be close. You know who they need to blow this series? If they really want to lose this series, what the Lakers need. Coach Shashevsky to coach him. Nobody, so, nobody can lose with two of the top five players like Coach K can, right? <laughs> three of the top five. He had three. Of three the of the top, top thirteen. 
Yeah, three of the top 13. Three of the top 13 picks. Two, two of the he top He had five. three of the top five recruits in the nation. Well, that too, if you want to put it that way. All right, uh, so you're picking the Heat in four? <laughs> heat sweep? <laughs> oh, God. I can't pick with my heart here because it would be. I would love to see the Heat win it, you know, stick it to LeBron. That'd be really nice. So I'm going to just do a head pick. Uh, and I am going to sit here and say seven. And I'm going to take the Lakers in seven. So I think that it's just going to come down to whose role players do I trust more. I know what I'm going to get from LeBron and Anthony Davis. Well, actually, I know what I'm going to get more now from Anthony Davis than I do LeBron. Sometimes LeBron go out there and score 15. He might score 20. Then he'll have a game where he pops off and has like 30-plus. But you never know. You know you're going to get maybe the 10 assists out of him. He's going to go for the 10 boards, triple-double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he wants to do right now. He's just taking statistics away from everybody else. But the most consistent player for the Lakers this playoffs has been, if you just talk scoring-wise, it has been Anthony Davis. And so if that's the case, you trust in Anthony Davis in his first ever championship? Eh. I don't know. So role player wise and possibly who plays more consistent is what it's going to come down to. And I think the Heat could do it, but I can't. I say seven and the Lakers. All right. So Heat and six for me. Um, I, and I hope you're right. I hope you're right. A couple of things. We're not going 